Hello, welcome to lesson 6 of Beginner's Blues Boogie Woogie Piano Tutorials. Uh, we're going to draw on some of the elements from lessons 1 to 5 again and do another short blues piece today. And it sounds like this. Okay, so again just uses the C, or sorry C, F and G, usual left hand positions. Uh, so let's just take it step by step. So for the first part, um, it uses the full chord on the right hand side. So with your C position, on the first note with the left hand, you, you play the C, E and G, two short kind of staccato hits of that chord, so. Okay. And then you'll have seen from previous lessons, you'll probably recognize this little phrase. So E flat to E, C, B flat, C. Okay, and just watch the timing. So that first part sounds like. There's a bit of a gap after the second one of those chords. Um, so if you just watch, was a play it slowly for the timing with the left hand. So. Okay. And then in that second repeat um, from one of the previous lessons, you'll recognize this also. from the E flat hammering on to this E and the G and then back to the C F and A and then finishing it on the, uh, the hammer on from the E flat E flat to the E and the G so so all together that first part is Okay, then we move to the F position, and again on the right hand there'll be two staccato chords, and it's going to be C, F, and A this time, and then the little riff this time is E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, and then back to E flat, A. E. So. so that's the timing. So with the left hand then. Okay, and then it's back to the C position. And again, exactly the same thing, C, E and G. And then that little phrase. Okay, so putting those first two parts together, taking it slow. Last part in the G position, just using some chords on the right hand. So the first chord is B, D, and G, and then up to the kind of inversion of that. So from B, D, and G to D, D, and B. So, and then we're going to the F position, and it's the C, F, and A. Again to the first the inversion of that, so F, A and C. So all together that's sorry. Okay. 
and then it's back to the C to finish. And then, just if you want to know that last chord, it's just C, G, and the left hand, and then C, E, G, and high C. Okay, so the last part all together then is So if you've got all those parts, practice slowly and you're comfortable with them, then you can put the whole place together again. So just one final time. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and you're building on the what you've learned already. Um, it really helps with your right hand, it helps with getting that blues boogie woogie timing. Um, just watching the gaps in between the little phrases and chords. Um, and yeah, if you like this video please subscribe and look out for future lessons. Thanks.